Hi, my name is Sue Young, and I have lived in Raleigh for 25 years. Uh, I raised our three daughters here, um, uh, all the way through the public schools in Wake County. Um, and I have primarily stayed home with them and been super involved in the community and in the schools along the way. Um, as the kids got a bit older, I took a couple of kind of contract assignments, um, one of them being um, with Kids Zoo Children's Museum in Chapel Hill, where I was an interim executive director and um, worked on educational programming and everything from staffing to volunteers and working with them. Um, I also worked at RTI International um, with a, um, a research study that was working with military families and um, the impact of stress on uh, the kids in those families. And so spent uh, three years on the study interviewing children for hours and hours and hours, uh, you know, quite long uh, one hour interviews and trying to establish rapport with them and get them to trust and be able to share their feelings about being a kid in a military family. Um, Again, worked in the schools quite a bit, in the classrooms. I did do some tutoring with students along the way and um, at one point led a um, math superstars program for one of my kids' classrooms. It was back in the day where it was, um, volunteers were a lot more welcome and there wasn't a whole lot of um, process or screening for it um, at that point, but um, I understand that that needs to take place now. Um, let's see. Why um, do I feel like I have time to do this? Um, the last probably 10 years, um, um, in addition to, you know, kind of getting the kids launched and off into their adult lives, um, I have been primary caregiver for both of my parents and so spent a lot of time with them. Uh, um, they passed away peacefully at age 89, both of them within the past year. So I find myself with a whole lot of bandwidth and time on my hands and energy. Um, my husband is not yet retired. Um, I would call myself semi-retired, I guess, but I heard about this opportunity and I just thought it sounded like um, such a great um, way to give back to the community. Um, I love I love this community. I loved uh, sending our kids to public schools here. Um, and I would love the opportunity to give back to the schools and have thought so much about the young families and the impact of the um, the virus and the pandemic on, um, on these kids and helping to get them back maybe semi up to speed would be, um, would be an honor. So um, that that sounds that sounds just real neat. Um, difficulty working with uh, I'm going to say colleagues, of course. Um, and I think my approach was always this person has a different background than me, has a different um, approach to what we're doing, and um, you know, let's just try to figure out where they're coming from. Was usually my approach and. Um, not killing them with kindness, but also trying to be understanding and empathetic of the fact that they might not be happy. And typically when there was a conflict or a, you know, a, um, a difficulty in getting along, it had to do with um, issues that they were dealing with. So again, just empathy and trying to um, communicate and, um, uh, and work best with, you know, whatever the group was or the individual was. Um, so usually I found that to be um, the best approach. Um, so now I'm going to read a story. Yay, I love children's books. Okay, open this link and here we go. Pages, let me get back to, oop, I hope I didn't lose the, I hope I didn't lose the application. Okay, I think it said, let's see what it did say. Four to eight, sorry. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty and they called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come on and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Why do you think, kids, that this fish 
didn't stop and answer when they called out to him. What do you think made him proud and silent? What do you think was going on in his mind? But one day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want to give me? Well, you want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all of his friends what had happened. And from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away from him when they swam by. And let's see, a context word. And when the fish were shocked, what do you think it was about the little blue fish that made him feel shocked? What does that emotion look like to you? How do you, how have you um, ever been shocked in your life? Thank you very much. Sorry, I took a little time finding the book and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.